Um, hey YouTube, it's Jamie 19 right here, and we're going to do a review of the Ultimate Warrior, or the self-destruct of the Ultimate Warrior. This was a great documentary, well not really great, but it was good documentary. Um, it's only one disc, probably doesn't even need to do a two or three disc because this person is pretty messed up. But it talks about the birth of Dingo Warrior, the birth of Ultimate Warrior, the entrance, um, like how he ran to the ring, Her Her Hercules Hernandez, the weasel talks about him and, uh, um, Bobby the Brain Heenan doing the weasel thing. Parts Unknown is where he says, he's or where they say he's from, and they're talking about where Parts Unknown is. Him winning the Intercontinental title, Ultimate Warrior Stock Rise, I don't remember what that is. Unique interviews by him being all weird, and most of the time you couldn't understand them. Him fighting Rick Rude, Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan. Like they said that um, Ultimate Warrior is the first guy to slam uh, Andre the Giant or something like that. WrestleMania 6 where he beat Hulk Hogan and Hogan passed the torch. Talked about him being the champion against Macho King, Sergeant Slaughter. And then at SummerSlam 91 when he didn't come out unless they gave him a certain amount of money. Like he's like I said, I wouldn't come out unless they gave me X amount of dollars. And then it talked about second chance, him coming back, and it's a different warrior, like, because he looked different, and he had to wear, like, he didn't wear, like, little trunks, I mean, he had to wear, like, pants because he lost weight, and he didn't really have the muscles anymore, then this Ultimate Warrior's second return when he came back in, like, 1996, or something like that, um, then... Name change when he changed his name to the Ultimate Warrior, then Ultimate Warrior, where he returns again. I don't really know. I think that's when he came back in '96. Um, the lawsuit when he sued WWE for for his name or something like that. Talks about him going to WCW, and then like the promo that he did for like 20 minutes just went on rambling about stuff, and then talks about him facing Hogan at Halloween Havoc '98. One of the worst matches ever. Um, then it talks about him facing, I mean, it talks about him leaving WCW, the Ultimate Warrior Legacy. This was an okay documentary. Like, talk, and there's, talk, there's talking about that he was not the person to be around. Like, no one wanted to be around him because he was all about him and not, not about anyone else but him. And, um, that. Hogan had his own locker room, but everyone else wanted to be in that locker room with Hogan. Ultimate Warrior had his own locker room as well, but no one wanted to be in his locker room. And he had, he like traveled by himself, had his own locker room, went in hotels by, with him, like with himself. And it talks about him being a weird person and like, uh, I think he, I think um, that one is when he had pants. On, um, I don't really see a picture of him wearing the pants, but yeah, I don't see one. Um, but this was okay. I guess you go get this if you can get it on a good price. I'll give it a 6.5, 7, or 7 out of 10. And that's about it. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.